English listening and speaking practice. 1. At the restaurant. Hello. How are you today? Hi. I am good, thank you. And you? I am fine. Are you hungry? Yes, I am very hungry. Let's go to a restaurant. Great idea. Do you like pizza? I love pizza. Let's go to a pizza place. Okay. What is your favorite pizza? My favorite pizza is pepperoni. What about you? I like cheese pizza. It is simple and delicious. I agree. Cheese pizza is very good too. How many pizzas should we order? I think one large pizza is enough for both of us. Me too. Should we order a salad as well? That's a good idea. I like Caesar salad. Me too. Let's order one Caesar salad to share. Great. I am also thirsty. What do you want to drink? I would like a lemonade. What about you? I will have an orange juice. Okay, let's order our food. Excuse me, waiter. We are ready to order. Sure. What would you like to order? We would like a large cheese and pepperoni pizza, a Caesar salad, a lemonade, and an orange juice, please. Thank you. Your order will be ready soon. Thank you very much. While we wait for our food, let's talk about our day. How was your day? My day was good. I went to the park with my dog. What did you do today? I went to the library to study. I have a big test tomorrow. I hope you do well on your test. Thank you. I hope so too. Our food is here. It looks delicious. Yes, it does. Let's eat. Enjoy your meal. You too. This pizza is very tasty. I agree. The salad is good too. Yes, it is. I am glad we came to this restaurant. Me too. We should come here again soon. Definitely. After we finish eating, let's go for a walk. That's a great idea. We can walk in the park. I like the park. It is peaceful and beautiful. Yes, it is. I enjoy spending time there. Me too. Let's finish our meal and go for a walk. Sounds good. I am enjoying our conversation. Me too. We should talk more often. I agree. It is nice to have a good friend like you. Thank you. I feel the same way. Great. Now let's finish our food and enjoy the rest of our evening. Yes, let's do that. 2. In the city center. Hello. My name is Kevin. How are you? Hi, Kevin. I'm Lisa. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thanks. What are you doing in the city center? I am looking for a bookstore. Do you know where I can find one? Yes, there is a bookstore near the big park. Do you know where the park is? No, I don't know. Can you help me? Of course. First, go straight for two blocks. Then, turn left. The park is on the right side. Thank you very much. Is the bookstore inside the park? No, it is not inside the park. It is next to the park, on the left side. Great. I will find it now. By the way, what can I do in the park? There are many things to do. You can walk, play games, or have a picnic. That sounds fun. What games can I play? You can play soccer, basketball, 
or badminton. There is also a playground for kids. Nice. I like to play soccer. Do you like to play soccer too? Yes, I love soccer. I play soccer with my friends every weekend. That's cool. Maybe we can play together someday. Sure. That would be great. Do you have a favorite soccer team? Yes, I like Manchester United. How about you? I am a big fan of Barcelona. They have very good players. Yes, they do. I also like their style of playing. Me too. Anyway, have a nice time at the bookstore and the park. Thank you, Tom. It was nice to meet you. Have a great day. You too, Lisa. Goodbye. Goodbye, Kevin. 3. At Graduation Night Hello. How are you? Hi. I'm good, thank you. How about you? Yes, I am. I'm excited. What will you wear? I will wear a blue dress. And you? I will wear a white shirt and black pants. That sounds nice. Will you dance at the party? I think so. I like to dance. Do you like to dance? Yes, I like dancing, too. What is your favorite dance? My favorite dance is the cha-cha. What about you? I like the waltz. It's a beautiful dance. Yes, it is. Are you bringing a friend to the party? No, I'm not. I will go alone. How about you? I'm bringing my cousin. She is nice. That's great. Do you think there will be good food at the party? I hope so. I like to eat. What is your favorite food? I love pizza. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is spaghetti. Do you like spaghetti? Yes, I like it. It's very tasty. I agree. Will there be a band at the party? Yes, I heard there will be a band. They will play music for us to dance to. That's cool. I like listening to music. What kind of music do you like? I like pop music. What about you? I like rock music. It's fun to listen to. I like some rock songs, too. Do you want to meet before the party? Yes, that's a good idea. Where should we meet? Let's meet at the park near the school. Okay, what time should we meet? How about 6 p.m.? That works for me. See you then. Great. See you at the park at 6 p.m. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a nice day. English listening and speaking practice. 1. At the tattoo shop. Hello. I want a tattoo. Is this a tattoo shop? Yes, it is. Welcome to the tattoo shop. My name is John. I am a tattoo artist. How can I help you? Hi, John. My name is Sarah. I want a small tattoo on my arm. Can you do that? Of course, Sarah. What kind of tattoo do you want? I want a heart. I like hearts. That's a nice choice. Do you want it in color or black? I want it in black, please. All right. Do you have a picture of the heart you want? Yes, I do. Here is the picture. Great. This is a nice heart. I can do this tattoo for you. Where on your arm do you want it? I want it on my left wrist, please. Okay. Let's start. Please sit here. Thank you. Is it going to hurt? 
A little bit, but don't worry. I will be gentle. Okay. I trust you. Thank you. First, I will clean your arm. Then, I will draw the tattoo on your arm with a pen. When you are happy with the drawing, I will start the tattoo. That sounds good. Now, I am drawing the heart on your arm. Do you like it? Yes, I do. It looks very nice. I'm glad you like it. Now, I will start the tattoo. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Here we go. How do you feel? It hurts a little, but it is okay. Good. I am almost done. I am excited to see it. I am finished. Here is a mirror. Look at your new tattoo. Wow. It looks amazing. Thank you, John. You're welcome, Sarah. I am happy you like it. Please remember to take care of your tattoo. Keep it clean and dry. I will. Thank you for your help. No problem. Have a great day. You too. Goodbye. Goodbye. Two intercity travel by bus. Hi. I'm David. What's your name? Hello, David. My name is Emily. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Emily. Are you going on a trip? Yes, I am. I'm taking the bus to visit my family in another city. How about you? Me too. I'm going to see my friend in a faraway city. That's nice. How long is your trip? It's about four hours. And yours? Mine is five hours. Do you like long bus trips? Yes, I do. I like looking out the window and seeing new places. What about you? I like it too. I also like reading books and listening to music on the bus. That's cool. What kind of books do you like? I like adventure and mystery books. What kind of music do you listen to? I like pop and rock music. Sometimes I listen to classical music too. Interesting. Have you ever been to a concert? Yes, I have. I went to a pop concert last year. It was fun. Have you been to one? No, I haven't. But I would like to go someday. I hope you can go soon. It's a great experience. Thank you, Tom. I hope so too. You're welcome, Emily. What do you like to do in your free time? I like to play soccer and draw. What about you? I like to swim and play the guitar. That's nice. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have one brother. He's older than me. And you? I have a younger sister. She's very funny. That's great. I hope you have a good time with your family. Thank you, David. I hope you have a nice trip too. Thanks, Emily. Have a great time. You too, David. Goodbye. 3. A new friend at school. Hi David, how was your day at school? Hello Sue, my day was good. We have a new friend at school. How was your day? My day was nice too, thank you. Tell me more about your new friend. Her name is Jenny. She is from another city and she is in our class now. That's interesting. What does she look like? She has short brown hair and she wears glasses. She is very friendly. Did you talk to her today? Yes, I said, hello. My name is David. Welcome to our school. She was very happy. 
That's nice of you, David. What did she say? She said, Thank you, David. I'm Jenny. I'm glad to be here. What do you and your new friend like to do at school? We both like to read books and play soccer during recess. That sounds fun. Did you invite her to join your group of friends? Yes, I told her, Jenny, we have a group of friends who like to play soccer. Would you like to join us? What did she say? She said, That sounds great, David. I'd love to play soccer with you. I'm happy to hear that. It's always nice to make new friends. Yes, it is. Jenny is very nice, and I think she will like our school. I'm sure she will. And I hope she will be your good friend, too. Me too, Sue. I will help her and show her around the school. That's very kind of you, David. I'm sure she will appreciate your help. Thank you, Sue. I just want her to feel welcome. You're a good friend, David. Keep being kind and helpful. I will, Sue. Thanks for talking to me about my new friend. You're welcome, David. Have a great day tomorrow. You too, Sue. Bye. English listening and speaking practice. 1. At the cinema. Hi, friend. How was your weekend? Hello. My weekend was great. I went to the cinema with my friends. We watched a nice movie. How about you? That sounds fun. What movie did you watch? We watched a funny movie. It was called The Big Adventure. Have you seen it? No, I haven't seen it. But I heard it's a good movie. I want to watch it too. Yes, you should. It's very funny, and we all enjoyed it. What did you do on the weekend? I stayed at home with my family. We played some games and watched TV together. That's nice. Spending time with family is always good. What games did you play? We played a board game called Monopoly. It's a game about buying and selling properties. Oh, I know that game. It's fun but sometimes takes a long time to finish. Yes, you're right. It took us a few hours to finish the game, but we had a good time. What TV shows did you watch with your family? We watched a nature documentary about animals in Africa. It was very interesting. I like nature documentaries too. They help us learn about the world and its animals. Yes, that's true. We can learn a lot from watching them. Did you eat any special food this weekend? My mom made delicious pizza for us on Saturday. It was so tasty. I love pizza. What kind of pizza did she make? She made cheese pizza and pepperoni pizza. My favorite is pepperoni. I like pepperoni pizza too. It's very yummy. Do you have any plans for next weekend? I think I'll go to the park with my friends. We want to play soccer. What about you? I might visit my grandparents. They live in the countryside, and I haven't seen them for a while. That's a good idea. I'm sure they will be happy to see you. Yes, I hope so. I miss them a lot. I hope you have a great time with your grandparents. Thank you. I hope you have fun playing soccer with your friends. Thanks. Let's talk again soon. Yes, let's do that. Have a nice day. You too. Goodbye. 2. At the bank. Hello. I'm new in town and need to open a bank account. Can you help me with that? Of course. Welcome to our bank. Opening an account is easy. First, we need your name and ID. 
My name is John, and here's my ID. Thank you, John. Now, we need to know what type of account you want to open, savings or checking. I want to open a checking account, please. Great choice. A checking account lets you use checks, pay bills, and make everyday purchases. To open it, you need to deposit some money. How much would you like to deposit today? I'll deposit $100 for now. Perfect. We'll open your account with $100. I'll give you a checkbook and a debit card. The debit card helps you withdraw cash from ATMs and buy things in stores. That sounds good. How do I check my account balance? You can check your balance online, at an ATM, or by visiting our bank. You can also call our customer service number. Thank you for the information. What are the bank's fees for this account? There's a $5 monthly fee for the checking account. If you keep a balance of $500 or more, the fee is waived. Also, withdrawing money from our ATMs is free, but there's a $2 fee for using other ATMs. I understand. I'll try to keep my balance above $500. That's a smart move, John. It'll save you money in the long run. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes, I'd like to know how I can send money to a friend's bank account. You can do that online. You'll need your friend's account number and bank routing number. Then, you can transfer the money through our website or mobile app. Great. I'll try that later. Thanks for all your help. You're welcome, John. If you have any questions or need help, don't hesitate to come back or call us. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. Goodbye. Goodbye, John. 3. At the Hotel Hello. We are looking for a hotel. Can you help us? Yes, sure. Do you want to stay at the hotel tonight? Yes, we want to stay for two nights. Great. What kind of room would you like? We would like a sweet room, please. Okay. Let me check if a suite is available. Yes, there is a sweet room for two nights. How many people will stay in the room? Two people will stay in the room. All right. The price for the suite room is $200 per night. Do you want to book it? Yes, we want to book the room. What do we need to do next? Please give me your names and a contact number. My name is John, and this is my wife, Mary. Our phone number is 12345678900. Thank you, John and Mary. Can you please show me your ID? Sure, here is my ID, and this is Mary's ID. Thank you. Now, let's talk about payment. You can pay with cash or credit card. Which one do you prefer? We would like to pay with a credit card. Okay, please give me your credit card. Here is my credit card. Thank you. I will process the payment now. It will take a few minutes. No problem. We can wait. The payment is done. Here is your receipt and room key. Your room number is 312. The elevator is on the right. Thank you for your help. We are excited to stay in the suite room. You're welcome. If you need anything, please call the reception. We are here to help you. Enjoy your stay. Thanks. Have a nice day. You too, have a great time at the hotel. English listening and speaking practice. 1. I love animals. Hello. Do you have a pet? Hi. Yes, I have a small and cute cat. I love animals. Do you have a pet too? Yes, I have a dog. My dog is very friendly. 
What is the name of your cat? My cat's name is Sweetie. She is a lovely kitten. What's your dog's name? My dog's name is Buddy. He is a big and strong dog. What color is your cat? Sweetie is white with some black spots. She is very beautiful. What color is Buddy? Buddy is brown. He has big, bright eyes. Do you play with your cat often? Yes, I play with Sweetie every day. She likes to chase toys and climb the furniture. What games does Buddy like to play? Buddy loves to play fetch. He also likes to go for walks in the park. Does Sweetie go outside? Sometimes, but I usually keep her inside the house. I'm afraid she might get lost or hurt. What do you feed Buddy? I feed him dog food, and sometimes I give him treats. He loves to eat. What about Sweetie? What does she eat? Sweetie eats cat food. She also likes to eat fish and chicken. Do you take Buddy to the vet? Yes, I take Buddy to the vet once a year for a checkup. It's important to keep him healthy. How about Sweetie? I also take Sweetie to the vet for her checkups. She's very healthy and happy. Do you have any friends who have pets? Yes, many of my friends have pets. Some have dogs, cats, or even birds. Pets bring happiness to our lives. What about your friends? Most of my friends have pets too. We all love animals and enjoy sharing stories about them. It's great to have pets in our lives. I agree. Pets are wonderful, and they teach us a lot about love and care. Let's keep loving and taking care of our pets. Yes, let's do that. I'm glad we had this conversation about our pets. They are truly special to us. They are indeed. Have a great day, and say hello to Sweetie for me. Thank you. Have a great day too, and give Buddy a pat from me. 2. Do you like books? Hello, my friend. Do you like books? Hi. Yes, I love books. I like going to the bookstore and the library. How about you? I love books too. What kind of books do you like? I enjoy adventure books. They are very exciting. What is your favorite type of book? I like books about animals and nature. I learn a lot from them. That's great. Do you have a favorite book? Yes, my favorite book is The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. It is an adventure book too. Have you read it? Oh, I have heard of that book but I haven't read it yet. I will try to find it at the library. You should. It's a very good book. By the way, do you like reading? I do. Reading is fun and helps me learn new things. Why do you ask? I was just thinking about how reading can help our brains grow and become smarter. You're right. Reading can improve our vocabulary, memory, and even creativity. Yes, it's amazing how much we can learn from books. I think everyone should read more. I agree. Reading can also help us relax and forget about our problems for a while. That's true. Reading a good book can be like going on a journey to another world. Yes, and it's a journey we can take without even leaving our homes. I'm glad we both love reading. Let's go to the library together sometime. That sounds like a great idea. We can help each other find new books to read and share our favorite stories. I can't wait. Let's make a plan to go to the library next week. Perfect. We can meet there after school on Monday. Does that work for you? Yes, Monday is a good day for me. I'll see you at the library then. Great. I'm looking forward to it. See you on Monday. See you then. Have a great day. You too. Enjoy your reading.
Three. Do you like pop music? Hello. Do you like pop music? Hi. Yes, I love pop music. How about you? I like pop music too. I also like going to concerts. Have you ever been to a concert? Yes, I have been to a few concerts. I saw a popular music group last year. It was great. Wow, that's cool. What is the name of the group? The group is called the Happy Band. They sing happy songs. Do you know them? Yes, I know the Happy Band. They are very good. I like their song "Happy Day." I like that song too. It makes me feel happy. What other music groups do you like? I like the Blue Birds. They sing beautiful songs. What about you? I like the Funny Cats. They play funny music. I know the Funny Cats. They are fun to listen to. Do you want to go to a concert together someday? Yes, that would be nice. We can see if the Happy Band is playing a concert soon. Great idea. I will look on the internet to find tickets. Thank you. Let me know if you find any good concerts. I will. I hope we can find a concert to go to soon. Me too. It will be fun to listen to live music together. Yes, I agree. I love watching live music. It is very exciting. I agree. It is always more fun to watch music in person than to listen to it at home. That's true. I hope we can find a concert that we both like. I am sure we will. There are many good music groups to see. That's right. I can't wait to go to a concert with you. Me too. We will have a great time. Yes, we will. Let's start looking for a concert soon. Okay, I will help you look for one. Thank you. I am excited to find a good concert to go to. Me too. It will be a fun adventure. Yes, it will. We will make great memories together. I agree. Let's start planning our concert adventure. Great idea. Let's do it. All right. I will talk to you soon about finding a concert. Perfect. I look forward to it. Me too. Have a great day. You too. Goodbye. Goodbye. English listening and speaking practice. One at the hospital. Hello, my name is Alice. I am a nurse at the hospital. How can I help you today? Hi, Alice. My name is Bob. I don't feel good. My head hurts and my body is hot. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Bob. Let's check your temperature. Please put this thermometer under your tongue. Okay, I did it. Good. Now we wait a little. Have you been drinking water and resting? Yes, I drink water, but I don't sleep well. I see. Your temperature is high. It's 39 degrees Celsius. You have a fever. We should see a doctor. Yes, please. I want to see the doctor. Follow me, Bob. I will take you to the doctor's room. Thank you, Alice. Here is the doctor's room. Please sit down and wait. The doctor will come soon. Okay, I will wait. Hello, I am Doctor Carroll. I heard you have a fever. How long have you been feeling bad? Hi, Doctor Carroll. I have been feeling bad for two days. Thank you, Bob. Let me listen to your heart and lungs. Please breathe deeply. Okay, I will breathe deeply. Good. Your heart and lungs sound okay. 
I will check your throat now. Please open your mouth wide and say, ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Your throat looks a little red. I think you have a cold or maybe the flu. I will give you some medicine. You need to rest and drink lots of water. Thank you, Dr. Carroll. How long will I be sick? It's hard to say, Bob. Maybe a few days or a week. If you don't feel better soon, come back to the hospital. Okay, I will do that. Thank you for your help. You're welcome, Bob. I hope you feel better soon. Nurse Alice will give you the medicine and some instructions. Here is the medicine, Bob. Take one pill every eight hours. Don't forget to drink water and rest. Thank you, Alice. I will follow your advice. You're welcome, Bob. Take care, and we hope you feel better soon. Thanks, Alice. Goodbye. 2. Nice conversation on different topics. Hi. How are you today? Hello. I'm good, thank you. How about you? I'm fine too, thanks. What did you do this weekend? I went to the park with my family. We had a picnic. And you? Oh, that sounds fun. I visited my grandparents. We ate dinner together. That's nice. What's your favorite food? I love pizza. It's very tasty. What's your favorite food? I like ice cream, especially chocolate flavor. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a cat. Her name is Luna. Do you have any pets? I have a dog. His name is Max. He is very friendly. That's cool. What do you like to do in your free time? I like to read books and play soccer. What about you? I enjoy watching movies and riding my bike. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. What's yours? I like green. It's a pretty color. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have one sister. Her name is Lucy. And you? I have a brother. His name is Jack. How old is your sister? Lucy is 10 years old. How old is your brother? Jack is 12 years old. What's your favorite subject in school? I like math. It's interesting. What's your favorite subject? I enjoy English class. I like learning new words. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a doctor. I like helping people. And you? I want to be a teacher. I think teaching is important. What's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas. I love the decorations and gifts. How about you? My favorite holiday is Halloween. I enjoy dressing up in costumes. What's your favorite animal? I love elephants. They're very big and smart. What's your favorite animal? I like dolphins. They're beautiful and clever. Do you like to travel? Yes, I do. I went to the beach last summer. Have you ever traveled? Yes, I visited the mountains last year. It was beautiful. Where would you like to go next? I'd like to visit a big city, like New York. How about you? I'd love to see the pyramids in Egypt. I think they're fascinating. What's your favorite sport? My favorite sport is basketball. I like to watch games on TV. Do you play any sports? I play tennis with my friends. It's a fun way to exercise. What's your favorite season? I like spring because the weather is nice and the flowers bloom. And you? I like autumn. 
The leaves change colors, and the weather is cool. Do you have a favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Lion King. It's a great story. What's your favorite movie? I love Toy Story. It's funny and exciting. What's your favorite song? My favorite song is Happy by Pharrell Williams. It always makes me smile. What's your favorite song? My favorite song is Imagine by John Lennon. It has a beautiful message. 3. A nice breakfast. Good morning. Today is a beautiful day. We are at the seaside with my girlfriend. We had a nice breakfast. Did you eat breakfast? Good morning. Yes, I ate breakfast with my family. We ate bread, cheese, and eggs. What did you eat? We ate bread, cheese, honey, and olives. We also drank tea. The view was amazing. We saw the sea and the birds. That sounds wonderful. I love the sea. Did you take photos? Yes, we took many photos. We will share them with our friends. Do you like taking photos too? Yes, I do. I enjoy taking photos of nature and people. My phone has many photos. That's great. Maybe we can go to the seaside together one day. We can have breakfast and take photos. That sounds like a fun plan. I would like that. What is your favorite thing to do at the seaside? I love swimming and sunbathing. And I enjoy listening to the sound of the waves. How about you? I also love swimming. I like building sandcastles and walking on the beach too. Walking on the beach is very relaxing. We can collect seashells as well. Yes, seashells are beautiful. I have a small collection at home. That's nice. We can add more to your collection when we go to the seaside. I am looking forward to it. Me too. I can't wait. Let's plan it soon. I will ask my family if they want to join us. Great idea. The more, the merrier. It will be a fun day for everyone. Yes, I agree. I will call you later to plan the details. Have a great day. You too. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. English listening and speaking practice. 1. Picnic in the park. Hey, do you want to have a picnic in the park? Yes, that sounds fun. What should we bring? We can bring sandwiches, fruit, and drinks. Great idea. I can make the sandwiches. What kind of sandwiches do you like? I like cheese and tomato sandwiches. How about you? I like chicken and lettuce sandwiches. Okay, I will make both kinds of sandwiches. Thank you. I will bring apples and oranges for fruit. That's perfect. I love apples and oranges. What kind of drinks should we bring? How about water and some juice? That sounds good. I will bring the drinks. Great. When should we go to the park? How about tomorrow afternoon? That works for me. What time? Let's meet at the park at 2 p.m. Okay, see you at 2 p.m. tomorrow. I can't wait for our picnic. It will be fun. Me too. I love spending time outside. The weather will be sunny tomorrow. That's perfect for a picnic. What else should we bring to the park? Maybe a blanket to sit on. Good idea. I have a big blanket. Great. We should also bring a ball to play with. 
Yes, playing with a ball is fun. Do you have a ball we can use? I have a soccer ball at home. Perfect. I love playing soccer. Me too. It will be a fun day. Yes, it will. I can't wait. See you tomorrow at the park. See you then. Have a good night. You too. Good night. 2. Job Application Hi, friend. We go to textile factory for job. Yes. We need job. We make job application. Job application needs CV. You have CV. Yes, I have CV. You have CV too. Yes, I have. What in CV? In CV, we write name, age, address, and school. We write work history too. Yes, we write work history. We write where we work before and what we do. Okay, good. What about job conditions? Job conditions tell how we work. Like work hours, pay, and break time. We need to know job conditions before we work, right? Yes, important to know job conditions. We ask when we make job application. We need to talk good English for job. Maybe. Some jobs need English. We practice English, it is good. Yes, we practice. We learn more words and grammar. We go to job interview. They ask questions. We answer. What kind of questions they ask? They ask about us. They ask about work history. They ask why we want job. We answer questions well, they give job. Maybe. They choose best people for job. We be best people. We work hard. We learn. Yes, we work hard. We show them we good for job. Okay, friend. We go to textile factory. We make job application. We give CV. We talk about job conditions. Yes. We do best in job interview. We get job. Good luck to us. We get job and work hard. Good luck, friend. We go to textile factory now. 3. I like swimming in the sea. Hi, Mary. Do you want to go to the beach or the swimming pool today? Hello, John. I think I want to go to the beach. I like swimming in the sea. That's a great idea. The sea is very big and beautiful. We can play with the sand too. Yes, we can make a sand castle. I like to play with the water and the sand. Me too. I will bring my ball. We can play catch or soccer on the beach. That sounds fun. I will bring my sun hat and sunglasses. The sun is very bright. Good idea, Mary. We should also bring sunscreen. We don't want to get sunburned. You're right, John. We must be careful in the sun. I will bring a big bottle of sunscreen. Great. I will bring some snacks and drinks. We can eat and drink when we are hungry or thirsty. That's perfect. I love to eat fruit at the beach. It is fresh and tasty. I agree. I will bring some apples, oranges, and bananas. Do you like these fruits? Yes, I do. They are my favorite fruits. Thank you for bringing them, John. You're welcome, Mary. I will also bring some water and juice. We need to drink a lot in the sun. That's true. Drinking water is very important. I will bring some cups and a big bottle of water too. 
We are going to have a great time at the beach. I can't wait to swim in the sea and play in the sand. Me too. I am very excited. Let's meet at my house at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, Mary. I will be there at 10 o'clock. See you tomorrow at the beach. See you tomorrow, John. Have a good night and sleep well. You too, Mary. Good night and sweet dreams. 4. At the Dentist Hello, Mary. How are you today? Hi, John. I'm good, thank you. How about you? I'm fine. Hey, I went to the dentist today for a checkup. Really? How was it? It was good. The dentist checked my teeth and said they are healthy. That's great. I need to make an appointment with the dentist too. You should go soon. It's important to take care of our teeth. Yes, you're right. What else did the dentist do? He cleaned my teeth and gave me some advice on how to brush them properly. That's helpful. I will make an appointment soon. Did you have any problems? No, everything was fine. The dentist was very nice and friendly. That's good. I hope my visit goes well too. I'm sure it will. Just remember to brush your teeth every day and floss. I will. Thank you for the advice, John. You're welcome, Mary. Have a great day. You too, John. Goodbye. English listening and speaking practice. Becoming a tailor at a fashion house. Hi Isabella, how are you doing today? Hello Eric, I'm well, thank you. How about you? I'm fine, thanks. I heard you're interested in becoming a tailor at a fashion house. How exciting. Yes, I am. I've always been passionate about fashion and clothing design. Can you give me some advice on how to get started? Of course. First, you need to learn the basic skills of sewing, cutting, and measuring fabrics. I have some experience with sewing and cutting, but I need to improve my measuring skills. Do you know any good resources to learn from? You can find many online tutorials or join a local sewing class to improve your skills. Practice makes perfect. Thanks, Eric. That's a good idea. What other skills do you think I should learn to become a successful tailor? You should learn about different types of fabrics, their properties, and how to care for them. Also, understanding various sewing techniques and patterns will be very helpful. That's great advice. How do I find a job at a fashion house once I have the necessary skills? You can start by looking for internships or entry-level positions at fashion houses or clothing stores. Networking is also important, so try to attend fashion events and make connections with people in the industry. Thank you, Eric. What about creating my own fashion portfolio? Do you think that would help me stand out from other candidates? Absolutely. Having a portfolio showcasing your designs, sketches, and completed garments will demonstrate your talent and commitment to potential employers. I'll start working on my portfolio right away. Can you give me some tips on how to make it appealing to fashion house owners? Focus on presenting a variety of styles, fabrics, and techniques in your portfolio. Include high-quality photos of your work and detailed descriptions of the design process. It's also a good idea to include a personal statement that explains your passion for fashion and your career goals. Thank you so much for all the advice, Eric. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, Isabella. I'm sure you'll be a successful tailor at a fashion house in no time. If you have any more questions or need help, feel free to ask me anytime. I definitely will. Thanks again, Eric. Have a great day. 2. Planning a Venice Vacation 
Hi Isabella, I heard you're planning a trip to Venice. That sounds exciting. Yes, Eric. I've always wanted to visit Venice. Have you ever been there? No, I haven't. But I've heard it's beautiful. When are you planning to go? I'm thinking of going next month. I want to explore the canals and historic sites. That sounds amazing. How long are you planning to stay in Venice? I'm planning a one week vacation. I think that should be enough time to see everything. I agree. A week should be enough to explore the city. Do you have a list of places you want to visit? Yes, I do. I want to see St. Mark's Square, the Doge's Palace, and the Rialto Bridge. And of course, I want to ride a gondola. Those are all great choices. I've heard the gondola rides are a must do in Venice. Have you booked your accommodations yet? Not yet. I'm still looking for a nice hotel or Airbnb. Do you have any recommendations? I've heard that staying in the San Marco district is convenient because it's close to many attractions. You might want to look for a place there. Thanks for the tip, Eric. I'll check for accommodations in San Marco. What about food? Any suggestions for good restaurants? I've heard that Venice has excellent seafood. You should try some local dishes like Fritto Misto or Risotto al Nero di Seppia. And don't forget to have some gelato. Yum. I can't wait to try all those delicious dishes. How do you think I should get around Venice? I think walking is the best way to explore Venice since it's a pedestrian friendly city. And you can use the water buses, called Vaporettos, to travel along the canals. That sounds like a great way to see the city. I'll make sure to wear comfortable shoes for walking. Any other tips or advice? Just be prepared for the weather. Venice can be quite humid, so bring some light clothing and a hat. And enjoy the beautiful architecture and art. Thanks for all the helpful advice, Eric. I'm really looking forward to my Venice vacation. You're welcome, Isabella. I'm sure you'll have a fantastic time. Don't forget to take lots of pictures and share your experiences with me when you get back. I definitely will. Thanks again, and have a great day. You too, Isabella. Have a wonderful trip. 3. A lovely dinner in Milan. Hi Isabella, have you ever been to Milan? Hello Eric, yes, I have been to Milan once. It's a beautiful city. How about you? I've never been there, but I heard it's a great place for a nice evening dinner. Can you recommend a good restaurant? Sure. I know a lovely Italian restaurant called La Trattoria. They serve delicious pasta and pizza. That sounds fantastic. What kind of pasta dishes do they have? They have a variety of pasta dishes like spaghetti, lasagna, and fettuccine alfredo. My favorite is their carbonara. I love carbonara too. What about their pizzas? Are they any good? Yes, their pizzas are amazing. They have different toppings like pepperoni, mushrooms, and olives. You should try their margarita pizza. That sounds delicious. How about the atmosphere of the restaurant? The atmosphere is very cozy and romantic, with dim lights and soft music playing in the background. It's perfect for a lovely dinner. That's exactly what I'm looking for. How about the prices? Are they reasonable? The prices are quite reasonable for the quality of the food and the overall experience. I think you'll be happy with the value. Great. Do I need to make a reservation in advance? It's usually a good idea to make a reservation, especially on weekends when it can get busy. You can call them or reserve a table online. Thank you, Isabella. You've been very helpful. I'm looking forward to trying La Trattoria when I visit Milan. You're welcome, Eric. I'm sure you'll have a wonderful time there. Enjoy your trip and have a lovely dinner in Milan.
Thanks, Isabella. I'll let you know how it goes. Have a great day. You too, Eric. Take care and have fun in Milan.